I am so excited to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for spending the time. I really, really appreciate you taking the time. I'm sure it's been a crazy couple of weeks. It's been intense, but thank you for having me. And I listened to a few and I realized we've got um, connections here and there with Christine Miliotti and Joanna Simpson. Oh my goodness, Kristen. Um, like, like, yes. I am so excited to be sitting down with you today because I am obsessed with the undoing a mini series on HBO that tells the story of an idyllic couple, Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant, who get caught in a very messy public disaster mm -hmm. where Hugh Grant becomes the lead suspect for a vicious murder trial. And you are a no bullshit, badass lawyer, Haley Fitzgerald, <laughs> who comes in and tries to prove Hugh Grant's innocence in a way. And if you guys are listeners right now and you have not watched the show yet, it is receiving rave reviews. I was glued to my TV screen and Aww. it's every Sunday night on HBO. Before you continue listening, if you have not seen it, there will be spoilers ahead. So just a warning. I'm going to be very careful. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to be very careful. But that's brilliant. Yes. I'm so glad you're enjoying it because it's, it's a thrilling thing to be part of. Oh, it's, and I actually just moved back from New York. So I am like glued to my TV screen. Like, oh my God, the sex appeal of New York. Like this show is screaming. Like I had like a full spiral one night watching it being like, oh, I miss I'm it. in New York. Oh no, you moved from or you moved to? I moved home. Um, I'm from LA. So I was in New York for nine years. COVID oh, happened you. and I moved back home to be close to family and just kind of keep Fair the enough. peace for a little bit. Oh, bless you. I understand yes. that. But New York does look amazing in it, doesn't it? And I was so oh thrilled my gosh. when I got a job. Because it was the first job I got after doing a theatre job that I had done for a long while. The first and longest theatre job I got, which is why I can say that's changed, that changed my life. So I remember thinking, doing um, uh, the show and finishing, I remember March, it was Sunday, March the 17th was our last day as the first company on Broadway to do this show. And then on the Friday the 22nd was my first day of filming on The Undoing. And I, can I swear? Of course. Great, I was like a pig in shit. I was like, I could not believe that I was working with Hugh Grant, um, let alone By Nicole the way, Kidman. aging like fine wine. Like- Oh, isn't he? Like- But also, this I think he's character. just getting, sorry? This amazing character actor. Yes. Do you know what I mean? He's become he's that beautiful boy. Fine wine yes. age. It's like, oh, all the body of the character of the wine. Uh, that's why I say that. I was <laughs> I was you guys have to watch this, particularly if you are someone who has been a fan of his old movies. To see this yeah. is just I think it's one of his one of my favorite of his performances of anything I've seen of his because it's just so different. And you're kind of so different. Yeah. So different. How did you get involved so in the show? Oh, well, look, luckily, I was the very good casting people who've known my work and they said, would you like to come in and have a read for this character? Um, so we've just got to quickly go back to um, Hugh Grant because did you see A Very English Scandal? I did. Have you seen that one? <gasps> okay, now watch that one. So you think okay. this is amazing. That's also amazing because it's a totally different, you go, is that Hugh Grant? That can't <laughs> be Hugh Grant. Oh my God, it's Hugh Grant. Anyway, fantastic. Let me just put that as a tick video. You've got to line that one okay, up. Okay, I, well. I will watch. I will actually watch it today. Oh, oh, love your work, Olivia. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need something to pull me away from the news channel. So, like, it's oh. it's happening. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant because it's got also the brilliant Ben Whishaw in it as well. They work brilliant together. So, um, so I went for uh, an audit audition, and it was the last month of doing um the show. The st it was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child that I was doing in the, in the last month, and um went for the audition, and I was so shocked to get it. But it was just reading with some ama lovely, amazing um, uh, casting agent who was just very comfortable and warm to read with. And was like, should I try, should I try this? And then you go, go, all right, I've auditioned. Hey ho, let's go and go on to our work and our life. And then what I've learned as I, I, this is uh, imparting my bits of wisdom. I've been drawing my what my little shells are. Is there's a point you've got to stop worrying about anything. All right, I've done the audition. Now what's next? I've got to go and cook some food. I've got to go and do this and do that. So that was yeah. a lovely place to be and figure out um, whether I'm going to be packing my bags or not in the next uh, few weeks as well and how, what we're going to be doing. So to get the job was amazing. And then going to meet Susanna Beer and go, and I really, I remember going, oh fuck, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually meeting her, who's our director, um, who did the night manager. And I have to admit, I haven't seen 
bird box. Um, but people loved, I think there was, it was very kind of, yes, you're in it. Or, I mean, bird box was intense. With that. Yeah, because I'm not good with horror. Anything that gives me the idea that I'm going to be stressed out even before I watched it, I'm not going anywhere near it. That's Have you watched The say. Undoing? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Funny that. Because... <laughs> You may have a point. You said something really beautiful in an interview recently about saying that Haley Fitzgerald was important because she represented possibilities. And I was wondering if you could elaborate on that for us because I thought it was beautifully articulated. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've got to think about, I mean, even just, I think that was just about the fact of this moment in time playing Haley. Again, come back to this moment in time. It's it's that thing of um, representation. And I'm very much aware of that, especially in Britain. I think America's been doing it a lot more than we have um, uh, so, so, than we have in Britain. America's done a lot more than we have in Britain. We, you, you're like 50 years ahead of us um, in that sense. But I am so aware, sorry, why I'm stopping is I'm seeing things because there, there was a little movie called Hair Love by Matthew A. Cherry that came out this year, animation. That was a brilliant moment of representation for dads, girl dads and girls with afros and the black guys and then doing their hair. Um, and if you haven't seen that, just have a look at it. It's like, it's, it's less than 10 minutes. It's a beautiful piece of storytelling. And that's what for me is representation because that's now an animation go, oh, I can see myself there in a different way, but those are characters we don't see. So Haley represents a world of possibilities in that sense. And I would say the same thing for me playing Hermione on stage in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child represented an, another level of possibility. We already had Hermione in print and book form. Then we had her with the gorgeous Emma Watson on film, but that's what we're used to. Um, that's how leads are given. That's how stories are given. 